Good morning, welcome back to the farm. I'm in a crazy winter. I want to show you all this snow that we've got. Yeah, it snows a bunch and it's gone in two days. We're supposed to get more snow this weekend. So it's been just a crazy winter. It's not very cold. Well, it is kind of cold, but it's cold enough that uh, it's not all mud yet, so we're kind of lucky, but we're going to be moving some of our younger animals today. Um, our older chickens don't need to be moved yet. They've got two fences that they are in, but these young Novagens, they need to be moved. They've only got one fence, and they've been here a little bit longer than normal because of all that snow. We didn't really move them because there was no grass anyway, but you can see that it is time to move them. So we're just gonna keep moving them down the yard. Um, the best part about these Novagens is they're super friendly and they wanna be around you. Um, so this move is easy for me. I don't really get a fence set up. I just use the fence that they're in because normally they'll just come right where I'm at. So I'm gonna take this fence down, move it to where we can uh, get them on this fresh spot right here. And uh, they're gonna be enjoying getting off their manure. So let's get them moved really quick and then we've got some piglets we gotta do some things with. These are our Novagen Brown, commercial brown layers from Valley Farms Hatcheries. And I am really liking this chicken. Uh, we used to do all for egg colors and whatnot. And we have the uh, Whiting True Blues over there for our blue eggs. But these guys are just great layers. We got these back in October. So they are just about 12 weeks old. So they'll be laying. <laughs> they'll be laying in another four weeks here. And uh, that's why we got them because we wanted some eggs early in the spring. So they are awesome. They're not very skittish. Um, they'll run up to you. Sometimes I have a hard time getting in here and feeding them because they're all running at my feet and I don't want to step on them. But these guys are awesome. We really like them. If you're looking for good egg layers this spring, um, I would suggest these commercial brown layers. Um, we're getting a bunch of eggs. We're still getting almost a dozen eggs a day from our older flock that's over there we've got that bielefeld rooster in with them but they're just laying awesome so we've got to the point where if we're feeding you we need you to produce eggs so this is what we've gone with and like the biggest thing they're not a skittish chicken um they're easy to get back in if they do get out and the only time they really get out is when they see us coming with the food cart and they're excited to see us and then they come right back in anyway but awesome chicken so just a heads up, if you're looking for an egg laying chicken this spring, try these commercial browns. They're, they're a fun chicken. So let's head over here for our next move. That was the younger flock of chickens we need to move. Now we're gonna be moving our younger piglets and we'll tell you why when we get over there. our piglets from Zelly's litter. Good morning. See you whipping around that corner. And a lot of these guys and well actually there's one guy and the rest are girls are going to be going home here in the next couple days. But while they're here we want them off of their manure. They've been wormed and we've moved them. You can see the spot is full of manure and ready to be moved. So we're going to move these little piglets and uh 
get them on a fresh set of grass as well. Might as well enjoy the grass while we have it before we supposedly are getting some more snow this weekend. So we'll see how that goes, but great looking litter, getting big. Ow, bit my finger. So let's get the fences out. We'll get them moved. Only problem is we've got our orchard over here. And uh, I'm not sure they would do anything to these trees. They're getting kind of big. We've got some apple trees. Um, but I don't want to risk it either. But I actually think these ones are going to be big enough that they'd be fine. And they're only going to be there a couple days. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get some fences. And we'll just move them down this one spot. And uh, they should be good. Famous last words, right? Let's grab our fences. All right, I was looking for all our fences and I couldn't find them. Well, I've gotten on a little lazy streak, I guess. And uh, when it snowed and stuff, I didn't come pick up these fences. So this is where the uh, meat pigs were. And obviously you can tell they're not in here anymore. If you followed our Facebook or Instagram, you know that uh, we took those to the butcher. I am gonna do a video on what we got back and the different cuts and stuff. I had planned on doing that a while ago. We've had it back for about a week now, um, but we will do a video with what we got back, how much they weighed, how much meat we got off of each pig and some of the different cuts. But uh, if you haven't followed the Instagram or Facebook account, you can see some of the pictures of the pork chops, man. They look amazing. So let me grab some of these fences over here that I haven't taken down yet and we'll be ready to get those piglets moved. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I am not gonna put them in here with these trees. We've had these trees up on oh, two, almost three years now. And I would be upset if for some reason these pigs mess these trees up because I'm not gonna put anything around them. So I'm just gonna move them over here. We had uh, pigs in here two months ago and there's some old manure that hasn't got broken down yet but it's not a lot that i'm worried for them to be on this spot there's been plenty of time for the manure to get kind of washed down in the ground and like i said most of them are getting picked up here shortly and there's seriously like four pieces of manure that i can throw out that i saw so i'm gonna put them down here just because i do not want to take the chance of them messing up our orchard which i don't think they would but i don't want to find out either so let's get this set up over here Okay, we got the house ready. You may be asking why we've got such a big space for piglets, but uh, we are gonna have a piglet party. We're bringing Sassy's piglets over as well. It's time for those to get weaned. They're about four weeks younger than these ones. And it's time for them to get weaned too. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have about 15 piglets over here. So that should be fun, but let's get Zelly's moved across first. And we'll go check out Sassy's. All right, I've decided to go the smart route. I had an extra fence that I need to take down anyway. So I've put up an extra fence on this left side, opened up the fence, fence, the fence. I've opened up the fence to the other side here. And now we're gonna open up. Since I'm by myself today, Jamie's back to work. We're gonna play it the smart way so I don't have to chase piglets. Normally it's not an issue and I'm sure it wouldn't have been an issue today, but 
when I'm by myself, I'm not gonna take the chance. These pigs definitely respect the fence, so I didn't think I could just lay it on the ground and let them walk over, so. Come on, pigs. Come on. Let's go to the new grounds. They've already found the fresh grass on that side. Come on. Let's go this way. I know there's more over here, I promise. I promise. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't go back into the old pen. That's no fun. I'm going to take this fence that I just put up here. And I can stretch it across so they don't head back this direction. Might as well use all the help I can get. All right. You don't want to come over here. This is your old yuck. There we go. I did notice they were using the bathroom. Come on this way, bud. This is the only boy right here. They were using the bathroom in their pig loo, so I had to clean all that out, and I flipped the pig loo up and rinsed it out. That's what all this mess is right here. So on to the new area. Perfect. All right, let's close it back up now. I did say we're gonna have a piglet party. We got their waters and feed over here. They're gonna enjoy this grass first while we're waiting for the other piglets. Let's go over and check out Sassy's litter and see who's moving. These guys are a little bit bigger and you'll be able to tell once we get them in here. Ring! <laughs> there goes the pigs running. You'll be able to tell once we get them in here together just a little bit of the size difference. All right, here's Sassy's little ones. They're just over eight weeks now. And uh, we are gonna wait till Jamie gets home because we need to microchip the ones that are going to be registered and we also need to pull some hairs so we can send away the dna we'll show you how we do that tonight if i remember but i'm not going to try and do that by myself i'm going to wait till jamie gets here and then we will put all these pigs together piglets together we'll get sassy weaned i'm sure she's ready for a break and we'll check out the piglet party just a little bit later this evening all right guys jamie's home from school we are going to start microchipping some of these pigs we're going to show you how we do it we use the microchip instead of ear tags it's just easier and it's just a way to identify the pigs when you get them ready to register um let me grab one of these pigs we'll get it microchipped and then we're going to start moving all these guys and girls over to our piglet pen i'm going to hand this off to brooklyn because we don't have enough hands all right got a double waddled girl here jamie's going to tell you about the microchips so we use the animal id ones they're iso compliant um i just take the little red safety thing off and we take the cap off and we always put the bevel this way we just feel like it goes in better um we just grab this little fat chunk right here there's a, they got a big old fat chunk and they don't even squeal when this goes in and then we just press it until it clicks and i always hold my finger here just to make sure that it stays in and give it a little rub and they're done all right pretty painless pretty easy and no problems so we're gonna get the rest of the pigs moved over <laughs> Okay, we've got them all over, and that is a pretty sight. Look at all those beautiful piglets. Surprisingly, some of these uh, younger ones are just about the same size. We've got a couple that we are not registering, a um, couple that are going, but they're all a pretty decent size, and that is a fun sight right there, isn't it? What is that about? What do we have? We had 
eight over here, seven over here. I don't know, it's about 16, 17 piglets, but almost all of them will be gone within the next couple days. I know people are excited to get them and we're excited to share our pigs with people. What do you got? 16. Brooklyn says 16, so that was a fun move across to quite a few piggies. The boys ran, they get all nervous and dribble some pee and they really stink. I'm definitely gonna have to wash my shirt, but see how everybody gets along. We'll check on them tonight just to make sure the new ones to the pen, Sassy's litter, goes up in the house with the other ones. There's definitely plenty of pigs, enough pigs to keep everybody warm and we got a good amount of hay in there. So the other ones are a little nervous. Sassy's over there. She'll dry up for a couple days and then we'll put her in with the other girls. So she will be just fine over there. But we got all the new animals, not the new, but the youngest animals moved today. These guys are ready for their new homes. We're just waiting on people for picking up. A lot of them will be coming this weekend. And uh, it's been a good day. So if you haven't already. Make sure you like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram. And also Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next video.